Move next here tonight to that massive new deal for downtown St. Petersburg, and it is truly a new day for Tampa Bay. And this is not just another rendering of another stadium proposal. This is the final draft of a new ballpark announced today, a new stadium that will no doubt be the cornerstone of a new downtown St. Pete reimagined. It means that the Rays are staying in the Bay for good. It means that baseball in the Bay is no longer looking over its shoulder. But what does it mean really for you on the everyday? Traffic? Yes. Construction? Check. They do have to break some eggs before they make the omelet. But it also means opportunity. And today I hit the streets to get the full range of your voice. Major League Baseball is here to stay right here. Say goodbye to Tropicana Field, say hello to a new stadium and a new downtown St. Petersburg. Guys, Tampa Bay Rays staying in St. Pete, what do you think? I'm not really a big sports fan. <laughs> Strike one. Did you hear about this stadium deal with the Rays? Yo, my man, they just announced today new Ray the new Ray Stadium. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's great. I think it's great for the city. I think it's great for uh, St. Pete. Rays are staying in downtown St. Pete. What do you think about that? Oh. Uh, I love your little guy here, or girl. Is it a guy or a girl? Hi. She's a girl. She's a sweetheart. Well, in that case, um, it's a lot of things going on there. The traffic is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> You're just being real, right? It's great to keep them here so that we get more tourism, helps the city out. Uh, I know there's a lot of like different opinions on why we should have moved the stadium. It's kind of like what Water Street was for Tampa, what Vinick did on that side of the bay, Stumberg, and, and really the city leaders are doing for this side of the bay. What do you think it means for the businesses here? I mean, it's, it's a net positive for everybody. So, I mean, obviously it's right here, and that's been here for as long as I can remember, honestly, but I didn't know about that. That's crazy. What do you oh. think? I mean, it's they're talking about new, new hotels, new shops, new restaurants, a brand new stadium, and this is like a done deal now, finally. What do, you, what do you think it'll mean for your business and other businesses? Honestly, if it's going to be around in the area, I think it would definitely bring people in. Like, just being that it's right here, like, before games, after games, they all come in here. So it's honestly really good business for us. I think it's awesome because we're, uh, we're down here from New York looking at homes, and I love St. Petersburg, so that's, that's another uh, plus. I mean, there's an old saying that a rising tide lifts all boats, and there's no question in my mind that that's going to happen. I mean, you put St. Pete up against Tampa as far as Water Street versus this, I don't, I'll take downtown St. Petersburg. Wall stays put. Diaz laces one deep right. It is gone! Obviously, a lot to talk about with this new stadium and this new deal, and it's not all roses. There inevitably is going to be some controversy, which always comes with something this big and complicated. So stay with us tonight at 6, our in-depth coverage of both sides of this developing story, which is deeply rooted in the not always pretty history of St. Petersburg and what this raised deal now means for promises that were made and promises that were broken a long time ago. That angle coming up as well tonight at 6. All right, let's talk about the weather right now.